Good evening and welcome to the Milford Select Board meeting of April 22nd, 2024 at 6 p.m. in room three of Town Hall. Our first agenda item tonight is the signing of the warrant. May I have a motion? Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we sign the warrant. I second that, Mr. Chairman. And I would make that unanimous. The next agenda item is the approval of our regular session meeting minutes from April 8th, 2024. Chairman, I make a motion that we approve the regular session minutes from April 8th, 2024. I second that too, Mr. Chairman. And I would make that unanimous as well. And we have one more set of minutes. We have approval of the executive session minutes from April 8th, 2024. Mr. Chairman, I will make a motion to approve the executive session minutes of April 8th, 2024. I will recuse myself from the vote because I have recused myself from the meeting. Yeah. And I uh, make a motion to accept the minutes. And I would second that and make that unanimous. Right. Okay. Next agenda item is a public hearing. We have a public hearing this evening for Milford Hospitality, LLC, doing business as Rail Trail Flatbread Company. It's an amendment to an all alcoholic beverage license and the alteration of the premises. Right. And like all uh, department head review forms, I will read this for a second. Okay. And you are, please. My name is Kareem El Gamal, one of the owners of Milford Hospitality. Okay. So this is Milford Hospitality LLC doing business as Rail Trail Flatbread Company. Uh, the department head review form, the building commissioner, no issues. The premise has approval, accommodations, and accessible for permitted outdoor dining. The town planners report violations exist as zoning site slash plan approval, parking lot changes, metal container placement, and dumpster relocation. Tax collector, no outstanding taxes. Town treasurer, uh, there is no, no liens. Fire chief, no objections. Police chief approved. And the Board of Health has approved as well. Rick, the question I have for you is, what is that, the town planner, it says violent. Yeah, let me just, I can elaborate. I don't think I'm sure. We've talked to Larry, I've talked to Kareem. They need to do two things. First of all, the issue of the dumpster has been resolved. So that's done. Okay. Uh, it's just not reflected on Larry's report. Sure. The other thing they're going to have to do, when I've talked with Larry, they're going to have to file an amended site plan just for the parking lot uh, revisions. And they're going to have to file for a special permit for the location of the metal container placement. That's what they want to do. So we've talked about that. Kareem says he and his people are going to be doing that forthwith. I've talked with Larry. I'm going to ask the board to ask him, Kareem, to keep me in the loop and obviously, obviously I would keep in the loop with the town planner should you wish to approve what's before you tonight. And basically it's to do uh, a formal alteration. Okay, of so we are addressing. We've the temporary one already if you call. Okay, Our yes. meeting maybe, uh, I don't know, two, three, three meetings or what, call three meetings, I'm not okay. sure. Um, so that's the status and that's why you see what you see on the report. Okay, let me just, uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Krim, go ahead if you want to do your presentation or any questions that you... I, I didn't have a presentation. I mean, the application is to alter the premise now that we've opened and we have a patio that is safe to sit outside yes. on. And, and all yep. that. that's, that's really the goal here today. It's uh, a very important piece for us, for our business, to have something nice to offer in the summer um, with regards to... Um, the, um, the, the the town planner's notes, everything that was just said, uh, I'm in agreement with. We do plan to file an amendment to the site plan, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, up until last week, we didn't even know that a special permit was required for the uh, container that's out there. We store our firewood in that. It's kind of part of our design, mm -hmm. you know. But I understand it. It is a metal container and a storage, so we will request a special permit in order to keep that. Okay. I'm happy to answer any other questions. Well, question. Yeah, I was just going to ask Kareem, that, 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 that uh, metal container, that's just a store, like you said, uh, wood, for yes. like a wood burning stove or something like that. Our ovens, yeah. where we yeah. our ovens and, 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 yes. and, and all that other things. Go. And, and the site plan is all set to, and like we were mentioning before, the last time, uh, when, the last meeting we had when Rick, I guess, had the public hearing uh, on that via Zoom, 
and we all agree that you know that where this is a new establishment here and it's a very it's a credit to our downtown and it's also when you have outdoor seating you're also increasing the seating capacity which also could possibly increase your profits and whatnot and like i said this board here is is very uh, friendly to our downtown businesses especially when it comes to improving that and that's what we're very happy about and i have no problem uh, mr chair uh, of uh, going along with what rick said is uh, approving this until these other issues are, are corrected okay Tom? Tom? I, I think they've made efforts to you know as far as moving the dumpsters and you're dealing with a public safety issue you have a dumpster there if it catches fire it's close to the building so you, you know uh, i think they've gone out of their way to fence it in um where you don't find that at every establishment mm -hmm. you know so they're dealing with you know whether it be i know I, i've been through that lot a number of times not only to go to the restaurant but to you cut through to go to the mailbox um <laughs> so it's a it's a quick cut through but Aside from that is I also noticed that their, their dumps is they secure them. So you're dealing with the public health issues as well. So I, I commend them for everything they're doing. As far as outdoor seating, I've been in favor of it right along. I, if there's one good thing that came out of COVID, it's outdoor seating. I, I believe that it clearly attracts clientele. If the business is acting responsibly uh, and not you know, disrupting the neighbors, which they're not. Um, I think it truly is an attraction, not just for the residents of this town, but for the residents of all of the towns around us. And it's proven, you, all you have to do is look at their establishment in Hudson, as well as the other businesses. All you have to do is take, go up to Marlboro, and I, I can name one place after the other. Um, so I, I'm fully in favor of it. And uh, Mr. Chairman, you know, with that said, I, I think that any of these issues, they've, they've shown themselves to be hugely responsible um, in, in communicating with the town as well. Um, so I, I would make a motion that uh, we allow the application to alter the premises updating the current floor plan for the existing restaurant mm -hmm. for the expansion of the front patio, back patio, and dining room seating on the second floor. Uh, this will add 3,514 square feet of dining area on the second floor, two patios of 1,650 square feet and 800 square feet, uh, and add a second bar uh, on the back uh, patio, um, which they would be required to do, and do they, and that's why they're altering the uh, liquor license as well. So that that's my motion that we approve um, that which they set forth in the application to the ABCC. Okay, this being a public hearing, before I ask for a second on that, is there anybody in the general audience that's here from the public on this public hearing matter? Yes. Yes, sir. Sure. Hey, well, come on. Right up, come, up, sir. come right up front. Because oh, the microphones are there so people can hear you. <laughs> Either way, I guess you could have just sat there. Yeah. Um, have a seat, okay. sir. S seat and use the microphone? Yes, all you have to do is sit down. You just have to sit down. Give me your name and your address. So Steve, Steve Bowden, uh, one of the properties I own in Milford is 11 uh, 13 Congress Street. Uh, it's called the RNL Realty Trust. Owned it for. 30 years or something. Um, and behind my property is the drive-through for the old, the old drive-through for the bank. Mm. And it's, I have a couple of concerns. Um, I've been to, I used to live in Sudbury years ago and I went to the rail trail many, many times in Hudson. Love the restaurant. My concern is that it's, it's looked better. It's kind of trashy. It's kind of fallen down over the years. Is that going to be, first of all, is that, did you, when you purchase the bank property, is that part of the property? Um, and secondly, what's going to happen with that? It's, it's, you know, when you talk about driving through or walking through, people through the, go through there all the time and throw trash and so forth and so on. So that was my main concern with that 
little appendage pro uh, area of part of the big property of the parking lot. What's going to happen with that? Do you feel that's a question that you can <coughs> answer? Uh, I can. I will try. Are you, I just want to clarify the area you're talking about. Is that where there's like a drive-through ATM? The old drive. Th no, not. Yeah, the drive-through yes. ATM yeah. by Exchange Street. Yeah. yeah. Um, I want to make uh, one thing clear. I am the owner, one of the owners of the Rail Trail Fiber mm -hmm. Company, but I we do not own the property. So, some of these matters are with the owner of the property. Who is? The, it's. Um, I don't know who I'm the owner. Trying to remember the name, the official name of the, the company. It's. Um, AMPM something. So you're a lessee. I am a lessee. Right. Mm -hmm. You're leasing out the old Rockland Trust building. Correct. Correct. Oh, I thought you bought it. Sorry. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> I thought you bought all the, the, the so building, the property, and the we, lot. We don't have rights to that area. I mean, it, it's blocked off. But I will say this. We want to make it beautiful. Okay. So there was... It's unused is the biggest mm. uh, yes, shame. You know, I mean, it's yeah. quite a bit of property. It's just sitting there unused and has been for a long time. I think now that we're there, hopefully we'll start to see some activity and planning around it. I think the first phase was just to get us in there yeah. and open the restaurant. There are some leaves I've noticed the last time I was out there, some cleanup to be done. Mm -hmm. Dead yeah. trees, leaves, trash, you know. There was already a lot cleaned yep. up, but <clears throat> yes. still the final mile. And yep. Trust me, we, we, we want, when people come and you see that back patio open, we're going to put flowers back there. The last thing we want is people sitting in the patio. And looking at <laughs> That's what I was going to say. say you know, yeah. they, they <laughs> you get the best there. parking lot in the city. So it's, it's yeah. great. It's a great property. It's just um, been unused you know, sure. for a long, long time. And I'll add some comments to the dumpster area, too. Right now, that is a temporary fence. We were following the suggestions and recommendations. Sure. And we plan to have something even more permanent, hopefully moved a little bit away from making things more sightly and more beautiful. That's great wherever we can invite you, you know, be happy to give you my contact information should you see anything or need anything okay. change back there. So. Who, who is the owner of record of the property? I don't know off the top of my head. I'd have to one that, that's, the other yeah, town. Okay. We could go on town GIF, yeah. we could do that. Oh, yeah. I just assumed that you had bought the property. I Mm -hmm. Didn't know otherwise. Mm -hmm. so. so if you go on the town of Milford, you just put Patriot Properties. Patriot Properties on the address. You know, but yeah. Rick, if we could take a look and figure out who yeah. the yeah. landlord yeah. is, you know, the owner of the property, and mm -hmm. maybe reach out to them so reach that they to work to with, do something with it. They can work yeah. with the folks at Rail Trail sure. because yeah. we can swap info before we go. Yeah, and we'll talk. Okay. Good. Just being, again, being a public hearing, Chris, is anybody on for public hearing? We only have one person on there. They have a scheduled, I think. I think they're scheduled for another matter. No. Oh, okay. Okay, so nobody is on. No, I'm good. Okay, and nobody Thank else? You. Okay. Thank you. Have a second on that motion? Okay, that second. Was, and I would make that unanimous. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Thank All you. the best with it. I, I think it's going to make a big difference. Mm -hmm. Okay, next agenda item is scheduled appointments. We do not we'll have to wait in line. <laughs> All the best. Do now. We don't have any scheduled appointments for this evening. Nope. So our next agenda item is town administrator's report. Yeah, very simple tonight. Uh, it's actually two items, kind of a repeat. I neglected when I informed you that you received the Tree City uh, USA application approval. I neglected to thank Parks Director Jimmy Azzo and Tree Wood and Chuck Lino. The other ones that have spurred this effort. Uh, past six years to get that approval from the Department of Conservation and Recreation. And I do want to again, and Paul, you'll understand, this comprehensive plan community meeting again is going to be May 13th, 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. in Milford up to Town Hall. It will be the introduction to the comprehensive plan. Mm -hmm. Residents and citizens will be able to ask questions, give opinions as to what we should or should not be doing. Um, so I just want to uh, Fresh people on that. I'll probably say it one more time in our next meeting. Sure. We try to get people there. We want some input. Good. And that's all I have tonight, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Any questions? No, nope. thank you, Rick. None. Tom, any questions? No. No. no, thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Rick. And next agenda item is old business. Under old business, we have again the town administrator annual town meeting warrant. Uh, the warrant's there, and you approved it last time. Yeah. Um, I put it there. You, you don't have to do anything. 
talk about an article or articles. We will have additional meetings for them mm -hmm. to do that. Um, but it's there for uh, whatever you might want to do. Or not do. Now we have gotten a, a warrant in one of our previous packets, but this is the official. That's the the official signed warrant that okay. the town clerk will be posting in the near future. Okay. Yeah. Any questions for the board? No. No, thank you. No, thank you. All right, next agenda item is new business, and under new business, our first order of business is, again, we go back to the town administrator, renewal of the secondhand pool tables and bowling alley license. Yeah, there's just a number of licenses there. It's an annual renewal, um, so I need a vote from the board um, to renew uh, the secondhand and and broker licenses, pool table license, and is one uh, bowling alley. Jim, I make a motion that we approve the renewal of secondhand antique dealer and pawnbroker licenses for bars of jewelry and gifts, Nathan's Jewelry, TJ Cafe and Games, MV Jewelry and more. Second that, Mr. Chairman. And I would make that unanimous. Mr. Chairman, I make a motion that we renew the pool table license for the fun zone of Milford LLC DBA pins. Second that too, Mr. Chairman. Chairman, I make a motion that we renew the bowling alley license 2024. So LLC doing business as pins. Second that too, Mr. Chairman. And I would make that unanimous as well. Thank you very much. Okay, next item under new business is pay more. Requesting a second hand license. I think they might be the individuals that are on yes. Zoom. Chris, I'm okay. Hello, yes, uh, I'm online. Hi. Hi, go ahead. You, are you Chris? I am, sir. Okay. okay. Go right ahead. The floor is yours, sir. Thank you. So, just a background. This is, excuse my ignorance, my first time doing this. So, um, if I'm not clear, please let me let me know. My wife and I um, have signed up for a multi-unit franchise business called Pay More. That's one word. Uh, they're a franchise company that has been around since 2011, and they specialize in the secondhand electronics market. Um, they are not a um, pawnbroker of any kind. They don't loan. Uh, only uh, provide cash or used electronics of any kind of electronics, and as well as they also sell new electronics in their retail shops. So basically, the, although their focus is secondhand market, uh, they do sell new products in their retail stores. And our first retail store uh, will be in Milford, hopefully. And we were told we, we needed a secondhand dealer's license, which brought me to this stage. Okay. Okay, um, so we do have a department head review form. Again, I will read it. The building commissioner uh, recommendation is a CC zone allowable use building and restrooms are accessible. Town planner is okay, no change to actual use. Tax collected, there are no outstanding taxes. Town treasurer, no outstanding liens. Fire chief has no objections. Police chief, Approved, and the Board of Health has no objections. With that, I'll ask for a motion to approve the application for a secondhand license. Jim, I make a motion we approve a secondhand license for Paymore located at 9 Medway Road, Unit 90. I second that too, Mr. Chairman. And I would make that unanimous. Good luck. Thank good you. luck to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, gentlemen. You're Thank welcome. you very much. Thank good luck you. To you. You did good. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a great day. Have a good afternoon. Yeah. You too. Okay. Next item is the town administrator uh, requesting the appointment of a part-time custodian. Uh, yes. The position is to get a part-time custodian. We advertise the town website. And he did receive 47 applications. The application by our facilities director, Carlos Benjamin, along with the HR director. Uh, we are recommending Mr. Carlos Morea for the position. He has been employed for 15 years as machine operator for Century Tie Wood in Holliston. He's been a part-time janitorial technician for TLC Janitorial in Waltham for nine years. 
He lives in Milford. He has extensive experience in many, many aspects of custodial work. Uh, we believe he's also mechanically inclined, so maybe small repairs and things that he could do. He speaks fluent Portuguese, which obviously can be a benefit. Uh, if you approve, we would recommend you place the grade one, step one under Article Two. Now the grade wage is twenty-three dollars and eleven cents, and we would ask that you allow him to work um, as early as today because he's kind of a night shift. Okay. Jim, I make a motion that we approve the recommendation of the town administrator to hire Carlos Marrero as a part time custodian at the rates, step, and grade as suggested by the town administrator. And I second that, you, Mr. Chair. I, I would make that unanimous. <clears throat> Next item on the new business is town administrator again, proclamation of Arbor Day. Yeah, each year what we did, uh, we do a proclamation. We have it signed by the gentleman as the selected members. So all I really would ask is the, uh, the proclamation. That's, uh, that's just not working, Chief. Ben. The tree that this paper was made from. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just requires our signatures, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. item under new business is again the town administrator referencing the treasurer slash collector tax collector appointment uh, as the board knows uh, terry Dias, our tax collector is retiring the board accepted her as a retirement um, letter at its last meeting with regret um, i felt agreed now time for the board and the town to consider combining the treasurer and the collector positions into a treasurer collector position uh, I did advertise it. Um, uh, basically, uh, the only letter submitted of interest was from our current treasurer, Chris Pillar. Mm -hmm. um, I am you know, strongly recommending uh, Chris be appointed to the position. Uh, he's dealt with him for nine years as treasurer. And he's performed in a highly professional and exemplary manner. He oversees payroll, compensation, tax management, payroll taxes, the retirement system. Remember, we were bonding for the Milford Water Company. He was essential assisting us in mm -hmm. that. He is a certified Massachusetts Municipal Treasurer. He's the deep Vice President for the uh, Treasurer's uh, Association, Massachusetts Collectors Treasurer Association, excuse me. He has a Bachelor of Science degree in Business Administration. He's got a Master's degree in Business Administration. Um, I think he would seamlessly um, get into this position. And at some point, if the board approves, I will have him come to a future meeting so that he can discuss with you how the operation may change in some respects. Okay. I think that you look at the Commonwealth most have a combined position. It should be both, I think, economically better. Uh, it should be a savings to the salary sure. table. So, uh, again, I can't say enough good things about Chris. He's been, I think, just performed very, very well in the last nine years, and that would be my recommendation. Uh, we would be able to uh, do a contract with Chris, so I would come back at a future meeting so that we could discuss the contract uh, uh, as both positions, treasurer and contract, <coughs> contract positions. We've checked on that, and we can do that. Good. I, you know, I, I think it's a fantastic idea. You're, the, as Rick indicated, the position, you see it across other communities. It's a... You know, it's, it's a natural relationship. Mm -hmm. And uh, Chris has done a great job. There's no question about it. Um, Well-versed, knows what he's doing, um, has been instrumental not only with the water company, Rick, but when we start to deal with properties that yes. we, we take for taxes, et cetera. He, uh, you know, he's right on top of it, and he treats people fairly, treats them with respect. Um, 
you know, he knows when people are in tough times and he doesn't push the button just to say, oh, you know, we're going to take this person's home or their land. So he, uh, he, he has that compassionate side to him as well. So I think that makes a lot of sense because a lot of those properties were taking them, if not all of them, for tax reasons. Mm -hmm. So if he manages the uh, taxes coming in, and I think that way he has his fingertips on things day to day. Um, clearly, we would have to renegotiate his contract with the new responsibilities, but as the town administrator indicated, we're going to save money as well. Um, it's not just the difference between the two salaries, it's also the benefits. So in the long term, it's, it's a significant savings um, for the community, but it really streamlines things and mm -hmm. puts things in the, the right perspective. Not that anyone was doing a bad job. I know that, you know, Terry had a fantastic relationship with Chris and with Zach you know, the financial people, and uh, that they communicated very well. And, and you know, I, I wish Terry well as she heads into retirement, um, you know, something she decided to do. She did a great job as a tax collector. So uh, I would recommend and I would make a motion, Mr. Chairman, um, and I will listen to your comments and my colleague Paul. Mm -hmm. um, but I would make a motion that we approve the recommendation of the town administrator to merge these two positions. Thank you, Tom. And, and Mike, I do second that, too, with the reason, too, because, like I said, like Rick mentioned, too, it's not a, a revolutionary uh, concept. Right. People are, you know, different municipalities are doing that throughout the uh, Commonwealth today. Also, you have a single person handling two different positions, so it makes them more efficient, as Tom mentioned as well. Cost savings, again, you're reducing uh, two salaries into one. If you remember, we did that too with um, the business director at the time, uh, Kathy Perry, with the uh, assistant superintendent of schools, mm -hmm. and we saved a considerable amount of money by doing that to get the same job done. And again, I guess uh, I thank Rick for that concept as well, Tom's comments, and I definitely second that too as well, and I wish Terry the best as well. Okay, before I make that unanimous, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Rick. Um, this is another example of things that are decisions that are brought forward or made by the town administrator um, to streamline the course of business within town hall, to make doing or conducting business at town hall streamlined, easier, for the taxpayers of this community. Um, and so, Rick, I just want to say, you know, thank you very much. I appreciate it. I think I know my board members appreciate it for, for having the foresight to think of something like this. Again, I wish Terry the very, very best um, in her retirement. Um, but it gives us an opportunity to, to make this adjustment, which is a major plus uh, not only for providing the services to the residents of this community, it's also a cost savings to the community as well. And so I think that Chris is more than qualified. I think Chris will do a great job at this role in this in this job description. And uh, and I just wanted to say again, thank you, Rick, for taking the charge and, and bringing this to our attention. A critical, you know, a time when we really could make that decision. So, and with that, I'll make that motion that was made by Tom unanimous. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Can I get a second motion? Oh, no, we have, I did. Yeah. Chris, no, no, Chris, I think yeah. Just, oh, we need a second motion to appoint Chris. Oh, sure. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Well, I make a motion that we appoint Chris Spiele and I uh, that to the too. position that yeah. was recommended and yeah. was just approved. And I would make that unanimous. Mm -hmm. And I will be back. Sure. Thank you very much. And, and that would go back to today, correct? I, I actually, he really wouldn't start till July. Well, July 1st. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I just want to be clear on the July. I want to be clear on dates, that's all. That's a good point. 
Okay, next agenda item is invitation to speak. Is anybody here or online, Chris, for invitation we to have speak? Nobody online. And we have nobody in the audience. All right, next agenda item is correspondence. Does any member have any correspondence they've received? The only thing I have, Mr. Chairman, is uh, I found it very interesting that our police chief came to us, so oh, it has to be more than six months ago, recommending that we approve the program where you put the yellow dot mm -hmm. on the vehicle and you can have information mm -hmm. uh, within the vehicle for police officers that may stop that vehicle to deal with people that have, you know, particular disabilities. Um, that in the past two weeks, the state police came out with the exact same program mm -hmm. um, to that. put it across the state. So uh, great ideas really move really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I want to commend uh, Chief Robbie Ticino, you know, for bringing that forward. And uh, it, it's not a bad thing to reinvent the wheel and have someone else try to do it as well. So he, uh, he showed his leadership in bringing that to the community. And then you see uh, the largest police organization in the state, the state police, are doing the same thing. Great. So I, I commend the chief. No, nothing, thank you. Just as what Tom said, too. That was a very good, Tom. Thank you for that. Okay. Had to bring that to our attention, too. I remember I just read that a little while ago that the state police brought it up. Okay. And Robbie brought it up several months ago, so. Already, and we've already had our executive session prior to the opening of the regular session meeting, so we do not have another executive session. And with that, I'll take a motion to adjourn the meeting. Jim and I make a motion that we adjourn the meeting, the regular session. Second that as well. I would make that unanimous. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, have a good rest of the week. Hopefully the sun will come out. Yep. Take care. Thank you. Good night. Good night.